Phil, how much do you worry about your ideas being stolen? I don't really worry about them, to be honest. Um, I'm probably contradicting myself by not revealing an idea I said earlier <laughs> when you asked me a question, but that's because I feel like they're not ready to be heard yet. Um, I think I think people can it can hold people back, you know. I, I mean, and maybe I'm maybe I'll eat my words, and maybe I'm being naive, but I think this idea that um, someone's going to read your script, steal it, and then write their own thing is kind of a bit absurd because it's like, you know, if they liked it enough to want to steal it, why would they start again? You know, it's like at, at, at worst, they would buy it off for you and you would never hear from them again. And then, and then they would go and make it the film they want to be, you know, for x amount of dollars you know whatever that is but this idea that um i think that the big corporations the studios are apt to steal ideas and and you know and not let us in or not help us i think is uh um is 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 not very productive i think it stops people again it's the whole thing about putting yourself out there right how are people going to know you've got that great script if you don't share it you know like how and you can protect it it's very easy to copyright things and you put in an envelope and post it yourself all that kind of stuff that people say you can do but um it's you know from everyone i've met all the execs uh development people studio heads and things like that that want to make film like they just genuinely want to meet talented people right because talented filmmakers and writers are going to make great movies and make make hopefully money and art you know so why would you want to steal it? I don't, I just, it, it makes no sense. I mean, um, you know, you maybe on a, maybe there might be a case in a smaller level, like you've got an idea for a short film and then someone else takes that and makes the short film. I mean, I guess that could be very, very frustrating, but, um, you know, this is a business of collaboration. You can, you just cannot do this by yourself. So you've kind of got to let people in. There's got to be, there's got to be a certain amount of trust, you know, involved. And, you know, as someone that has been stabbed in the back and someone that has, you know, um, been the victim of certain things, um, they've never really been about things being stolen. It's been more about other other things that can go on. So I just, I'd say don't let that hold you back, you know. Send it out, submit it to competitions let friends read it let friends pass it to friends because you never know you know you never know uh, the odds are already against you why make it worse than just doing this and not letting people you know see your work just to play the devil's advocate what if they don't have the talent you have and and there's a part of them that wishes they did but they have some access to money that can make it i think that's the part that that could be scary they, they see your vision, they see what you've done previously, and they go, wow, this guy actually has an excellent idea. I want to do what he's doing. And I have someone who can yeah, take and, Yeah, and, and uh, that's, that's very, um, very good devil advocate to play. Um, I would hope that in that situation that, um, it, you know, it's not just about an idea. An idea doesn't really exist until it's a screenplay, until it's cast, until it's shot, until it's made. You know, there's a heck of a lot involved in making that great idea. Um, so um, it's it, it, it's a tricky one because it's, it's about what is the idea, right? Is it like you just pitching a film? You know, it's like, oh, you, it's a three sentence pitch. Well, I could give you or seven other people that three sentence pitch and they'd write very different screenplays like at its core, you know, it's, it's, it's the log line, but it's very, very different. That's not saying that's not excusing kind of stealing that. But what I'm trying to say, you stumped me with that one. No, I see. I see where you're going. I, it doesn't exist until until it's really a, a screenplay. And hopefully no yeah. one would take it at that phase either. But um, I, yeah, I think that's I think, a fair answer. I think it's... Um, um, I, th I think, I think I would hope that people like that in the world are few and far between. And again, maybe it's my optimism coming out here, but, um, I would hope that if someone cares enough 
to want to steal something. It just doesn't make sense why they wouldn't, you wouldn't be involved in that thing or just to pay you off. Like, why would you risk that eventual lawsuit or that thing by, you know, um, uh, by just stealing it and making it? It's like, hope, sure, you bring people into the fold or you buy it and let them go, you know, um, which happens, you know, which happens. Um, so, but I just, you know, it's hard because obviously there are bad people in the world and it, and it's it's a tough industry and, and you know, and the, the, there are some charlatans out there. But it's, I, 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 there's so much else that's already holding you back personally, professionally, you know, in terms of obstacles you need to challenge. Like I wouldn't let that fear factor get in the way of people seeing or experiencing an idea because on the flip side there could be that guy or girl or whatever that has that money that wants to make that film and you just so happen to have the great skip to the right time like it's you know you can't have all your cards close to your chest you've you've got to go this is me you've got to go this is what i want to do you've got to go you know you've you've got to set your stall out so people understand what you're trying to do Uh, and if they like it hopefully that starts the conversation um Unless you're really hostile about it and they want to steal it because they don't like you, but then just be nice. <laughs> be nice, everybody. <laughs> so then you don't know anyone who's had their material stolen? No, I, I don't know anyone that's had material stolen. No. Um, you read about it now and again in trades of like, I sent this back in and then you suddenly made this big film and it was a huge success. Give me some money. And, um, you know, uh, and then, you know, some sell out of court, some whatever, you know, whatever happens to those ones. But no, personally, I don't know anyone that's had anything stolen. Um, you know, on a, on a uh, from a commercial perspective, sometimes you, you know, you get a script from an agency and you write a treatment, a visual interpretation of that. And you think at the, when you're writing it, like, well, no one else has come up with this way of making this. And then you don't get the job and then you see it and you're like, hang on, uh, that's quite close to the bone here. But how do you, like, how do you prove that? And also that's, that's I mean, that's very different to uh, having a screen post on or something. So, and I'm sure maybe that, some of that stuff happens. Maybe little ideas are borrowed or um, maybe creative ideas become part of the melting pot and then suddenly you make it your own, you know, and and you genuinely believe that it's your idea. I guess there's a danger in that. Um, but no, I don't know. I don't know anyone personally that's had anything stolen. 